YouTube is an amazing video platform where anyone can upload any video they like and express their feelings to the outside world. Wow. I'm going to fail it. The only problem with YouTube is anyone that actually has an account is able to upload a video when 90% of the time it's absolute shit. No. I am your father. No. No. The lightsabers aren't even hitting each other. There is no contact being made during this fight. What the, what the fuck? Darth Vader did fucking nothing, and Luke just backflipped and killed himself. But anyways, I digress, because today we have a very important meme, a rare meme, at that something I've wanted to talk about for the past 12 seconds. It's recently come to my attention that the YouTube god, Filthy Frank, best known for dressing up in various different outfits and speaking in some kind of incomprehensible spider language, is now under attack. Do you like more teas and biscuits with that? Hold on to your knickers! Bah! Bah! Oh, bah! Oh, bah, humbug! Bah! Bah, humbug! He wants to shit in the urinal! And I'm also willing to look past the fact that he kidnaps small children of colour, keeps them in his bedroom, and feeds them. KFC. So YouTube's resident xenophobe, Filthy Frank, has come under attack by another YouTuber by the name of Double for Anime. God fucking damn it. Double for Anime is a YouTuber that uploads content about anime. His name literally has the word anime in it. It really should be that difficult for you. And recently this individual has uploaded a reaction video to the Filthy Frank anime intro with a video titled The Anime Opening Filthy Frank The Worst Scum on the Internet. And by the dislikes alone, clearly no one gives a single shit about his opinion. Some of you guys linked me a Filthy Frank video basically making fun of us Naruto fans. Just a couple seconds into the video and we can already analyze the individual that we're dealing with. This is a man that has collected possibly every single anime in the known universe. And on top of that, throughout the entire video, he has a constant face of anxiety, like his great samurai grandfather will come out of the wall and stab him with his katana for becoming such weeaboo trash. Not all, not all, not all, not all. And on top of all that, this individual records himself possibly entirely bollock naked, exposing the remnants of his pubic hair he shaved off and then taped to his chest. I already know what the fuck he does. He's a little piece of shit and he needs to be eradicated from the internet. Like, the YouTube community needs to get together and fucking destroy Filthy Frank. Another thing you learn after watching this video, this individual is quite volatile. He'll have moments of clarity and calm where he explains the situation in an orderly manner. And then after that, he'll have a moment where he'll just fucking explode, shot at the camera in a bunch of gibberish that no one can fucking understand. And he starts making fun of people with diseases like cancer and AIDS, like, why don't I fucking take a knife and just start fucking cutting at your liver? He reminds me a lot like Two-Face, if Two-Face was a complete and total faggot. Nobody ever goes at motherfucking Filthy Frank because it's all under a persona and he's like the hip guy or whatever, but listen, he's just as much of a piece of fucking shit as those guys. Like, we need to really get together and terminate this piece of fucking shit. He's actually completely brain dead. <laughs> Now I could see a lot of you typing in the comments saying that this individual is a troll, he's baiting people and by me making a video to him, giving him attention, I've fell into the bait and done exactly what he wanted to achieve in the first place. Well allow me to address something for you. At this point, it really doesn't matter if this guy is either being genuine or trolling because at the end of the day, He's absolutely mentally insane. And you wouldn't like it if you got a terminal illness and everybody started fucking, you know, attacking you for that shit. Who puts themselves on YouTube, bollock naked, complaining about a YouTuber much bigger than their own channel? That is pretty much suicide on YouTube standards. And even if this guy is a troll and not being genuine, all he's literally doing is asking people to kill him. So in conclusion, it really doesn't matter whether he's being genuine or not, because what he's doing is actual insanity. Oh my god, you like Naruto? <laughs> oh!
After ranting about Filthy Frank for about 5 minutes, an argument which no one really asked for and no one really gave a shit about, he then proceeds to react. I'm using that with massive quotation marks by the way. React to the Filthy Frank anime intro. So basically- Now I swear to god, I'm not taking this out of context. He shows no emotion, no reaction, and says nothing about the video while he's watching it. So technically, this actually puts him lower than Jinx and the son of Stomedy. I actually can't believe I'm saying this, but an actual physical Malteser reacts to a video better than this pasty-faced loser. That's a peanut. Wait, that's an elephant. No, it's a dog! To be honest, the only expression he pulls while reacting to the video is a face you'd make when you accidentally click on the midget dumpster sex tab on Pornhub. And after reacting, again with the quotation marks, reacting to the video, he then has a few words to say about Filthy Frank in general. So basically, like, you know, running with the hands behind the back and just making a fucking joke out of that. Like, I'm not even so pissed about this because this isn't the first time he came at people like Naruto or just anime in general, just fucking calling all those weeaboos. And when I made the video about him, I've been getting comments ever fucking since from, like, hundreds of people telling me to kill myself. Like, oh, you will never say that shit to my fucking face. Like, I promise you that you will never say it to my face. You see, the problem is no one wants to say it to your face because... Firstly, your YouTube channel is literally called Double for Anime. So the majority of people that come across you probably thought you were shot in the head, much like the protagonist in Fallout New Vegas. And plus, every time you look at the camera, I honestly get goosebumps and feel part of my soul leaving the room. When I look into your eyes, all I see is the Ring of Sauron. And finally, most people don't approach you, let alone talk to you in real life. Mainly because if they mispronounce your god anime, Naruto, you'll probably jump on their back, stab them with spoons until all their bodily fluids seep out onto the floor. And then you'll proceed to eat their carcass while emitting some kind of ablo pig scream. God, why am I driving like a fucking idiot? Fuck off! Like, I just, I've been really tired of this dude for a long time. He had the, his fucking piece of shit friend Max Mofo, which is another degenerate. Like, this dude and him were like making vomit videos. Like, who the fuck does? Like, how can you do that? Like, one normal person eats each other's vomit. Like, that's not normal behavior. Like, that's, you, you should be in a mental fucking institution. Like, you should literally be in prison for that shit. It's fucking disgusting! Right, listen, I have Sauron. I've gotta stop you right there. Everything you're saying from this point on is a direct hypocrisy. Not even addressing the fact that you're attacking yet another, more successful YouTuber, Max Mofo. You are saying that these gentlemen eating a vomit cake is disgusting, while you are fucking bollock naked behind a wall of anime complaining about people on the internet that will be more successful than you will ever become. Actual insanity. Not all, not all, not all, not all. You know, if you took some time to prepare for this video, people would probably be able to believe you, like if you wrote yourself a script and, and you didn't smoke about 20 marijuanas before starting this video. I don't even, I don't know what to say anymore because every fucking video I upload now is some shit about weeaboos and Naruto fans being, you know, fucking retarded. Like, fuck you, dude. Fuck this video. I don't really, this shit was dumb. Like, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't him, like, attacking anime fans like that, but it was just a dumb fucking video. And that's the end of the video. It cuts out quite abruptly, so I'm only guessing his dad heard him complaining about anime for the 500th time and cut the cord to his PC. At the end of the day, this man is mentally insane. He's probably escaped from some sort of mental institution and set up a YouTube account in an attempt to blend into society. I think the biggest question about this guy was, was he being ironic or genuine? In my opinion, I think he was being ironic. I think this was some kind of publicity stunt by attacking another YouTuber, he'd draw attention to himself. But honestly, ironic cancer is still cancer. Thank you all so much for watching this horribly put together video. One like and I'll steal this man's Naruto collection and send it to your house. Like that's, you, you should be in a mental fucking institution. Like you should literally be in prison for that shit. It's fucking disgusting.
These nuts <laughs> got it. Got it. Got it. Ooh, wait.